Alright guys, welcome back. By this point, you've seen enough uploading and downloading videos from S3. So I'm not going to uh, belabor the point for this. This is just uploading using the transfer utility versus transfer manager. Now the difference is you don't actually have to have the image stored on your device and you can just upload and download from your image view. So as you see here, I just have um, a three view controllers one just has two buttons one lead into our download which we did in the last video and we have a second button here that's going to be leading to our upload so our upload all we have is an image view um, and two buttons basically to get the photo from our library and the second button is to um, save that photo to our s3 bucket and I didn't do a lot of fancy programming here. So you also have this upload uh, view controller. And this is basically just an empty template for grabbing uh, well, images from your, uh, your library. So there's nothing special about this. I actually copied most of this, or if not all of this, from our video for our transfer manager. And only thing we need to do now is once we have our data and we formed into a PNG representation of that image, we just need to call our uh, dispatch async in order to load that onto S3. So I'm just gonna do that now. All right, so now let me just walk through this really fast, what we've done. We went ahead and we got an image from our library. And then what we're doing is we're just converting that into a PNG representation. We're calling dispatch um, async to execute uh, the transfer utility. And here I'm just setting up the transfer utility stuff within this method. Last time I did it up top, but calling self and things like that, um, that didn't want to cause any uh, retention cycles. So I just put everything here because this is when I actually need it. Um, and here is where the magic happens. I call transfer utility, upload data. There's an upload file option as well. So you can upload a file if you want to. Um, and that's basically some file from your uh, device. But we're just going to upload the data that is stored in our image view here. I have my bucket name here and um, the name of the file or the key in S3 is going to just be transfer upload.png uh, and then it's just going to be an image, a PNG image. Here I'm just doing checking for errors. If an error exists, we're just going to return. And if an error doesn't exist, we're just going to let us know, let ourselves know that we've uploaded successfully. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to upload an image. It's gonna take us to our view controller. I'm just gonna hit, hit get photo. And this is, our, this is our library. I'm just gonna select a photo here. As you see, it just pops into this image view. And then I want to go ahead and hit save to S3. We have a little loading thing. You can probably put a spinner or something else or maybe go on to something else, but um, it's trying to load the image. The image is really big, so it's trying to load this image onto S3. Another thing we could have probably did is made the save photo to S3 button, uh, made that disabled when there isn't actually anything there like we did before, but I don't think I did that. All right, so now we see that the upload it uploaded successfully. So let's go to S3, and I'm just going to refresh. Here is our image, and let's go ahead and view it. I'm just going to click on it. And you may need to make it public in order to click on it and view it in your web browser. But see, it's like a a really big stock image from my phone. And yeah, so that's actually all you need to do in order to upload it. Now there's different options you can use when uploading to S3 using transfer utility. I'm not gonna go in depth in that into that, especially not now, because I can see myself using this in future tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, um, comment below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.